This season, the Destiny 2 community has seen a huge increase of solar hunters and have risen to be one of the top choices. So I decided, why don't I create my own version of the Celestial Nighthawk Solar Hunter? So I'll be covering everything from the subclass to the armor mods and even weapons to pair up with this build. I try not to base my build solely on seasonal artifact mods only because I want my builds to be used in future seasons and so it doesn't require you guys, the viewers, to be looking for a complete alternative because the build before was strictly based on seasonal artifact mods. So I'll also be covering the subclass aspects and all the fragments, weapons, and also the armor mods again. You will need to create the Ascended Celestial build that I have for you today. But now with all that being said, let's jump into this build. Also, if you're still in the flow of the video, be sure to drop a like and a sub on this video as it really helps this channel out a lot. I also have a Discord where I post video announcements, upcoming videos, or video ideas. Feel free to check it out as it will be linked down in the description below this video. So to start off the build, we're going to get into the exotic of choice. So the exotic we're using for this build is Celestial Nighthawk. As you've probably seen on the thumbnail of this video, this exotic has finally stepped out of the shadows and has returned to its formal glory this season with its exotic rework and when paired alongside the current seasonal artifact mods inside Season of Wish. What makes this exotic so special is its exotic trait called Hawkeye Hack which states precision final blows reduce the cooldown of your super, modifies golden gun to fire a single high damage shot, targets defeated by that shot give you super energy and explode. This exotic has become one of my favorite hunter exotics to ever come to Destiny 2 and seeing it make a comeback has been incredible. I know all the hunter mains out there would probably agree with that statement. But now let's hop into this build subclass aspects and fragments. So for our super we're going to be using Golden Gun Marksman which I would say is the better option over Deadshot because Marksman states your Golden Gun deals massively increased precision damage, over penetrates targets, and creates orbs of power on precision hits. This will greatly pair with the Celestial Nighthawk because it will increase the damage of your single shot that Celestial Nighthawk provides already. So in more simplified terms, the damage from Golden Gun Marksman will stack with the base damage of Celestial Nighthawk as well. For our abilities, we'll be running Gambler's Dodge, Knife Trick, and Healing Grenade. So now we're going to be getting into our aspects for this build. So for our first aspect, we're going to be using On Your Mark. This aspect allows on precision final blows to grant you and nearby allies increased weapon handling and reload speed for a short duration up to 3 stacks. So for a second aspect we're going to be using knock em down which this aspect allows your solar supers to become enhanced. So with this build we are using golden gun marksman. It has an increased duration while using your super. So now we'll get into our fragments for this build. For our first fragment we'll be using Ember of Empyrean which says solar weapon or ability final blows extend the duration of restoration and radiant effects applied to you. For our second fragment we'll be using Ember of Torches which powered melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies radiant. For our third fragment we'll be using Ember of Singeing which states your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets. For our fourth fragment we'll be using Ember of Solace which states radiant and restoration effects applied to you have increased duration. And for our fifth and final fragment we'll be using Ember of Searing which final blows on scorched enemies grant melee energy and creates a fire sprite which grants grenade energy on pickup. So next we are going to go over all the armor mods that you'll need for creating this build. So for our helmet mods we are going to be running Harmonic Siphon which will generate an orb when rapidly defeating targets with a solar weapon. We will also be running times two hands on which gives us super energy on melee kills. 
for our gauntlet mods, we are going to be running Heavy Handed, which powered melee final blows create normal power. We'll also be running Impact Induction, which by causing damage with a powered melee attack, it reduces our grenade cooldown. And lastly, Focusing Strike, which grants class ability energy when you cause damage with a powered melee attack. For our chess mods, we are going to be running times 2 charged up, which increases the max stack of armor charges by 1, and then a harmonic resistance mod for that small solar damage reduction. For our leg mods, we are going to be running recuperation, which replenishes health each time you pick up a normal power, and times 2 kinetic weapon surges, which will increase our kinetic weapon damage and most importantly increase our golden gun damage because for some reason kinetic surges work with golden gun and not solar weapon surges. And lastly, for our class item mods, we'll be running distribution, which reduces all ability cooldowns when using your class ability, and times 2 bomber, which reduces grenade cooldown when using your class ability. Now, if you don't want to run bomber, you could swap it out for time dilation if possible. Next we'll be getting into the seasonal artifact mods, so normally with my builds I don't really base them around seasonal artifact mods, but for this one I'm hoping it will work later on, but considering this season is really long I decided why not. So for our first seasonal mod we are going to be using Kindling Trigger, which states Radiant causes solar weapons to apply scorch to unscorched combatants. So this mod will pair well with all of our solar fragments, and here's why. So if we are radiant and running a solar weapon, it will spread scorch to other combatants, and with that getting solar weapon kills or abilities, it will allow the Ember of Empyrean to activate, and not only keep our radiant going, but also our scorch effect provided by Kindling Trigger. With Ember of Torches, it will allow us to stay Radiant or reapply Radiant if needed to keep the cycle going. Also, Kindling Trigger will pair with the Fragment Ember of Searing because by defeating Scorched targets, it will allow our class ability to come back much faster and also work into our dodge to ground our melee back to proc Radiant and also to keep the cycle going. Then with the fragment Ember of Solace, it pairs well with Kindling Trigger because Ember of Solace will keep our Radiant buff timer uptime longer, allowing us to spread Scorch even more. And for our last fragment that will pair really well with Kindling Trigger is Ember of Searing because by defeating Scorch targets, it will give us melee energy and it will spawn a Fire Sprite giving us grenade energy which is nice if you don't have your melee or your grenade. For our next seasonal artifact mod we are using Heart of the Flame which states casting your solar super grants nearby allies radiant and increases the damage of your super for each nearby ally. This will really benefit you and your teammates overall damage. Next we have the Seasonal Artifact mod Flint Striker which states Rapid Solar Weapon Precision Hits and Rapid Solar Weapon Final Blows Grand Radiant. This will pair well with Kindling Trigger and Heart of the Flame. Which leads us to the Seasonal mod Revitalizing Blast which states causing damage with a solar ability weakens champions and bosses for a short duration. With this mod it will increase our Golden Gun damage our weapon damage, and your teammates damage. For our last seasonal mod that will be running for this build is Rays of Precision which states while Radiant Solar Precision Final Blows cause combatants to ignite. This mod will also pair well with Flint Striker and Kindling Trigger. Also if you're playing solo, the seasonal mod Solo Operative will increase your damage to all targets which is very very useful for all you solo players out there. Next I want to bring some exotic weapon choices to light when using this build and here are the following suggestions I have for you. Wish Ender, Polaris Lance, Sunshot, Tiku's Divination, and Hierarchy of Needs. Next, I wanted to give you guys kind of a gameplay loop 
So for this build, there is not a huge loop as it's mainly just getting precision final blows and getting your super. But when it comes to abilities, I would throw your throwing knives at the enemies to become radiant before using your super to help boost your damage overall. Getting scorched kills will help get your abilities back pretty quick, allowing the tiny loop to continue. So that's pretty much all there is for that loop. I also wanted to bring some legendary weapons to light and for suggestions that could work with this build. So if you want to run a legendary weapon in your kinetic slot, it's pretty much free range, but I would suggest weapons that you know you can get precision final blows with. Now for our energy slot legendary weapons, I would suggest the following. Epical Integration, Zali's Bane, Callus Mini Tool, Trusty, Adorative, Tyranny of Heaven, Parabellum, the BXR 55 Battler, and many many more options out there to choose from. Also keep in mind these are just suggestions, so if you don't have one of these weapons, there are alternatives to get out there and lastly, I would suggest weapons with the perk incandescent which will spread scorch to targets and it will greatly pair with all the fragments. Now heavies are pretty much free range and whatever you want to run in that slot is your choice completely. Whether it be an exotic or legendary is completely up to you. So that pretty much covers the whole build and I hope you find it to be as unique and fun as I think it is. I will have this build's dim link down in the description below along with some other videos by me if you want to check them all out. If you found this video to be helpful or useful in some way, please be sure to leave a like down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. It's completely free. You'll be helping this channel more than you realize. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one, Guardians.